Hello and welcome to the continuation of the beginners course in SQL where we take from known to unknown and it's been a while you know that we've had a pause on these learning tracks but I'm resuming this and I really need to have these resources available you know before 2022 so that I can build on top of this especially the dream of getting your hands dirty in real data analysis how do you plug in power bi to this how do you run azure synapse a lot of plans and big goals that i have for 2022 so i need to wrap this up in 2021 okay so what are we going to talk about here is sql white card you know how do you fit our text using this white card whenever you are writing your queries there are many use cases, but I'm going to talk through four questions to demonstrate these white cards. And what are white cards? You know, white card character that is being used to substitute for one or more characters in a string. For example, you have text and you want to filter through this text to say, okay, give me where this is this, where this condition is not valid, where this is this. You can use white card to do those filtering. And we have three of major ones that I'm going to, you know, talk you through. The first is the percentage sign. You know, anytime you use this, it matches one or more characters. So if I say my name is Ola, if I'm saying O L A means Ola, all right. So give me anyone whose name ends with L A. I don't care how many letters they have before that L A. So for example, Ola is O L A. It's a single character before L A. We have another name, Jola, J O L A. You know, that's two characters before L A. In that instance, you the white card percentile will help you. Irrespective, you're just going to match one or more characters. We have the underscore that actually matches a single character. This one is just a single character. It cannot do maybe two or three or as many as possible. No, just a single character. And we have this array, you know, bracket with this carrot symbol, which just sort of helps to evaluate character to represent a single number one is a single character and it's going to help you to exclude that character from whatsoever you are featuring we'll see this by use case so i'm going to navigate now to sql management studio and uh, where we're able to then you know test this through some use cases right right on my screen i already have four questions i'm in adventure works 2019 data set in case you don't know how we get here the link is already in this playlist just check this playlist you see how we set up this how we restore the database and follow through so the very first question here is to return only the records in the employee table where the employees are, you know, a manager. Okay, let, this is very simple. We need maybe we can select some criteria. So do we need a login ID, um, the job title, you know, from which table where the job title is actually equals to managers. Whatsoever, you know, we have different managers, assistant managers, senior managers. This is a good example, you know, that we want to consider here. And again, if you are wondering where are these data located on these tables, this is why it's important to watch the previous videos because I actually shared adventure work schemas, the business behind it and how the database is being set out. It will help you a lot. All right. To answer this question, so we're just going to write simple SQL. Select statement. What am I selecting? Let me select login ID. You know, I might be interested in login ID. We have these IDs in the tables that we are looking at the employee table is under the human resources schema so what else do i need the job title which is important um job title but i'm selecting that from human resources human resources dot employee that is the table All right so the condition then is where you know where the job title job title is like so this is where i need to state that we need managers we don't care what comes in senior manager assistant manager managing director as far well as manager we just wanted to pick so i'm going to use this white card here so i don't care what comes in but let it have managers and that's what we're saying here manager you know and i don't care what happened after that so i'm going to close this code so this is very simple is saying that Give me the login ID and the job title from human resources, which is this table, this is schema, this is the table employee, where the job title as manager, as far as this manager in the job title. So I'm going to run this letter query now and we we'll say 
awesome this is the login id for these people you can see adventure works you can see and of course we can later in another video we will be doing substringing to remove this adventure works because the id for this guy is roberto zero the id for this delan zero the id for this mike sees so and these are the titles you will always find manager here you know these titles all right we saw the first question the second one is saying return records from the person table this is a different table than not employee you know where users first names end in a r y that gary that mary as far as the name ends in a r y right that that should be simple so let's just write this query so let's no i need to start so let's i just need that into all the columns give me all the columns from the table where we are referring to as person dot person that's the table and where where the first name what happened to the first name like remember the command i just talked about the white card i talked about which is the underscore so ary what i mean here is i don't care only a single letter must be here not more than one and it can be any any character but just give me where everything ends and after that single letter the remaining last three letter is ary what that means is this cannot be more than four letters yeah but i don't care what is actually here but it must end with ary okay let's run this fantastic we have all the records but going back to the name we are interested in our first name here is the first name i can see mary gary and then um, i think that's all <laughs> yes okay that's what we have there but these are the records and if you want to really be specific you can go for first name first name from this place so you can go for first name alone and when we check you see this is all we have and you can see that duplicated if i put this thing here I put this thing here and we try it you just gonna go the distance which is Mary and Gary just that they repeated because of the way the database is the table is rather all right so let's move to the third question here which is return records from the person table where users first names end in a r y and does not start with a g oh remember we have many is only Mary what if there are more than this what if there are other kind of name you know c a r or anything but we only want to exclude Gary because there are two here. I can easily go for Mary, but if they're more than that, how do I use white card to do this featuring? And that is what we are doing here. Not that really difficult as well. So I'm going to select more or less. I'm going to select first name. Let me just go ahead and select first name. Same query that I have here. Just going to copy this and paste that here. Um, yeah, select first name from this. We have first name like. This is where the difference comes in because I want to exclude. So I'm going to use this um, array and then put this carrot symbol. Um, yeah. So I need to take the mouse out. G, close this. So inside this place, this is where I'm going to put all my symbols. I'm going to put this and put G. G is the character that I don't want to, I want to exclude. Whatever letter you want to exclude, this will work now. So when I run this, you see, I have only have Mary. If I take this back to, you know, uh, Mary M, I'm not going to get Mary here. I'm going to get Gary or true. You see that. And if I had this thing here, uh, of course, we know what that means. Um, I'm after just selecting yeah, Gary. And if I change this back to um, G, it's going to be just Mary. That will be hard. I'm excluding that. You get. So this works perfectly. There are many use cases where you have to you know, run this, especially when you are featuring tests. And lastly, um, return records from the person table where user's first name does not end in Harry. You know, does not end with A R Y. So how do we do that? Because it's almost the same thing as this. See, um, yep, D. So rather than like, I'm just going to use not like. That is all not like but this time around here not like Ari. so where it's not like this where it does not end can have anything but it does not end with Ari. so this way let's execute this you can see different names but without any names ending with a r y 
that is what we've done here you can see this is not really difficult but these three major you know or four examples that we've done now will be helpful for you um thank you in the next video we're going to talk about the concept of joints and so that i can understand them from set theory and the rest and we'll run examples like this see you in the next video